Alexa, turn everything on. Okay. What is up guys, it's Nick back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your old beat up ultra boost with nasty boost and all these scratches on your cage. I'll get a close up of that in a second. Back to looking like it's brand new with all white boost, no scratches on the cage or anything. The first step that you're going to need to do is you're going to get some rejuvenator, protect anything. Uh, today in this video I'm be, uh, using rejuvenator and then you're going to have to get some uh, blue paint tape, any kind of paint tape, doesn't really matter. Of course you need your shoe trees, always got to have your shoe trees along with some matte finish for the cage. So it gets that uh, matte finish back on these old clear gray Ultra Boost 3.0s and the last thing you're going to need if you're right here your shiny boost on your clear grays how that ultra boost shines if that's all marked off because sometimes it scuffs up like on my u and my l and my t it's all scuffed up all you got to get is a gray silver metallic sharpie and the last thing you're going to need for the boost is a all white sharpie oil based pen so the first step let's clean the shoes All right guys, it's been a couple hours. I took these out of the, the washer like four hours ago and I've been letting them dry. The upper's still a little bit wet, but we can go ahead and start working on it. Right now, I'm just gonna take my little white Sharpie oil-based pen right here, shake it till you hear the bell rattle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning this boost as much as I can, or I'm painting it, I should say, back to bright white. So go ahead and start doing that. All right, guys, so I already started cleaning this part. I already drew, uh, painted all this white with the pen, and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how good this how good this method is. And you got all white right here, and then you got that yellow. I already painted this right here, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up with this pen. After this, I will be showing you how to clear up the cages. You should let this dry for about one to two hours and then if it looks like it needs another coat you can go ahead and put another coat on you see i messed up a little bit but if you get a little bit on there it'll wipe off the continental sole just put your fingernail on it it'll just go away so now i'm going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the shoe the back and the inner and then i'm going to show you how to get rid of these scratches on the inside of the cage right there See you guys when I'm done painting. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the whole upper taped up except the cage and the heel cap along with the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and go outside, spray it up, spray it with the uh, matte finish, matte finisher, focus, 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 focus. There you go, matte finisher. And then I'll let you guys have a look at it when it's all done. See you guys in just a second. All right guys, I just finished spraying this side and this side. So let's go ahead and unwrap it real quick. So already I can see that all of the scratches on the cage are gone. I haven't seen the heel cap yet get it up just enough so you can see everything all right. I think that's it and there is no scratches 
on the cage or the heel cap. Now the last thing that we have to do is just color this in with the silver metallic because it is a little matted over. No scratches on the inside that I can see and no scratches on the cage. So overall, this was a good, good, I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome that it, lo it looks brand new. Just gonna do the little Sharpie right here. Do it right now, and then I'll let you guys see it. All right guys, I just finished coloring in the Ultra Boost logo, and it looks great. All the thing I have to do next is lace them up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and waterproof them to keep the oil paint on, along with the little Sharpie that I just put on, and the uh, matte finisher. So let's go ahead and lace them up, and I'll get a last shot of both of these together, and I'll wrap up the video. All right, guys, I guess that wraps up this video. I just want to tell you, go a little overview of what we did. First, we uh, pre-treated with some rejuvenator, put it in the laundry, let it dry for a couple hours. We took the Sharpie Oil white pen. We drew on all the boost right all along, and then we uh, taped up the upper around the heel ca cap and the cage, and then we took the matte finisher, did a couple coats on each side to get away, uh, to get rid of all the scratches. And then after that, I noticed that the Ultra Boost logo was a little foggy. So I went ahead and used the silver metallic uh, Sharpie to brighten that back up. And I guess that's it. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe down below. Go check out all my other videos of my Yeezy Supreme. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.